तृतीय पुरुष विष्णु गुणावतार दुई अवतार भीतर गणना तहार विराट दृष्टि जीवेर तेह अंत जमे क्षीरदाई तेह पालन करता श्यामे सो गर्भदक्षाई विष्णु दैन नेक्स्ट विष्णु द थर्ड इनकारनेशन इज क्षीरदाई विष्णु विद इन दिस यूनिवर्स देर इज ए प्लैनेट near the pole star which is called uh, kirodak sai planet and there lord vishnu in his incarnation of antarjani super soul he is acting as the super soul uh, and he is the universal form when you think of universal form of the lord that is the manifestation of this kirodakshai vishnu and that kirodakshai vishnu as paramatma super soul is situated in every one's heart even within the atom anantarastham paramanu chayantras paramanu means atom and within the atom also we think of God as very great universal form, but God can take also form less than the atom. That is God's power. He is not only great, greatest, but He is the smallest. Ano raniyang mahato mahiyan. Mahato mahiyan is greatest of the great, and ano raniyang and smallest of the small. We cannot think. How small he can become! That is his inconceivable potency. So within this material world, he is within the atom, and he is within everyone's heart, in every where, all pervading, and at at the same time, universal form, the biggest form. Virat vasti jivere tehon to jami kiro dokshai tehon palan karta shami. Now he is the maintainer of whatever uh, we are enjoying. It is due to his mercy. In the Katho Upanishad, uh, Manduka Upanishad, it is stated, "Nitya nitya naam chetana chetana naam eka bhunaam vidhati kaman." Now he is the supply. Whatever we want. so as as a palan karta as the maintainer as the super soul he he is supplying he is supplying whatever he want all right so uh, we should not uh, approach god uh, as supplying agent that is the lowest stage he is supplying even to the cats and dogs then what is the difference between human being and the cats and dogs uh, just like a, a small child he is uh, supplied all necessities by the father but when the child is grown oh uh, he wants to serve the father similarly to make god as order supply oh god give us this give us that uh, Then God is giving. He will ask or not ask. He will give you, because after all, you are all children. So He takes care of His children. Uh, but uh, you may say that uh, why the children are differently treated. Somebody is supplied sumptuously, and somebody is not. Why this uh, difference of treatment? That difference of treatment is also for good. Uh, how? Just like a mother has got five children. One of them is uh, suffering from fever, is ill. 
Now very nice food stuff is prepared. All the children come and mother is supplying. And when the feverish child comes, oh, you don't sit here. You cannot take. Oh, why? Oh, you are diseased. You cannot take. Do you think that mother is partial to this child and that child? No. Anyone who is not supplied as he wants, that is due to his own disease, chronic. So if God does not supply him sufficiently, it is good for him. Therefore in spiritual advancement a poor man is in more advantage because he can think of God, provided he is virtuous, he will think of God. Chatubhida bhajante maam sukriti nārjuna. So this is supplying, God is supplying. Eka bhavanam vidadāti kāvān. That one, there are two living entities, one supreme and others. One similar number, other plural number. We are amongst the plural number. Nitya nityanam. Nityanam, this is plural. Amongst many eternals, so we are amongst the many, many eternals. We are also eternal. We have got that qualitative, uh, I mean, say, thing. Eternity is the same quality as of God, as of ours. We are eternal. God is eternal. That's all. But we are amongst the plural number. Nitya nityanam. And he is the singular number. And it is particularly stated that eka, that similar number, etern, eternal purusha, he is supplying everyone's necessities. So God is supplying everyone's necessity. Either you are cat or dog or demigod or uh, President Johnson or anyone, everyone is dependent on God's supply. Uh, we cannot be independent. And if God st- stops supplying, uh, you cannot manufacture. Uh, if there is food grains, uh, and there is no food grain, you cannot chew your dollar notes. <laughs> what will you do, your hundred dollar notes? Uh, say, he is the supply. Eka bhavana vidadāti kāma. So we should be, this is knowledge of God. We should be in love of God means. So God has supplied us so many things, and why not? Therefore pure devotees, they like to supply God. They want to become order supplier of God, not to make God as order supplier. What God wants, God wants that make everyone God conscious, Krishna conscious. He sends his son, he sends his books, he comes himself, that is his mission. He wants that all these suffering living entities, they should become Krishna conscious and be happy. God wants it. In the Bhagavad Gita it is clearly stated. So if you wants to supply the want of God. God wants it if you become yourself Krishna conscious and try to uh, serve God by uh, spreading this mission all over the world. That is the best service. That is the best service to the Lord. To become yourself field worker, field worker. God, God is very much anxious to get back his, this, uh, I mean, it's a mad sense. Uh, in this material world, everyone is mad, crazy. Uh, it is a difference of uh, degrees only. Uh, I may be more crazy than yourself. But we are all crazy. Uh, and as soon as we are fixed up in Krishna consciousness, our craziness is vanished. Yes. But that is our constitutional position. Uh, the part is to serve the whole. We are part and parcel. So this is a chance. This manifestation of this material world is a chance to uh, have that 
opportunity. And especially this human form of life is a, is a boon for understanding this Krishna consciousness. If we miss this opportunity, then we are unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate. Purusavatare re koiruni rupan, lilavatare vishnu sanatan. Now Lord Chaitanya says, now I have described about the three purusha incarnations. What is that? Uh, uh, Mahavishnu, Garu, uh, Kilo, yes, uh, Karunanam Sai Vishnu or Mahavishnu, then Garbhodaka Sai or Hiranna Garbha or Kilodaka Sai or the Super Soul. Antajyam. The three Vishnu incarnation description is finished. Now he is trying to explain Lilavata, past times. Ah. God has got all propensities. So if he wants to fulfill some propensity, then he comes here to exhibit, to manifest that. Just like uh, God comes here, just Ramachandra, Lord Ramachandra. And what was the main function of Lord Ramachandra? He fought with Ravan, his enemy. So this is called Leela. What is that Leela? Leela pastime. When uh, God wants to have some uh, desire to fulfill that I, I I should fight. Sometimes you sometimes feel mock fighting with friends or it is your children. Similarly, where from this desire comes unless the desire is in God? Because He is the origin of all everything. So don't you feel sometimes mock fighting? Uh, there is enjoyment, uh, fighting with friends, uh, boxing. That is not fighting, that is enjoyment. Similarly, God wants to enjoy by fighting. So Vaikuntu there is no fighting because there is no, no, nobody can be found there, enemy. Everyone is obedient, servant. Therefore he comes here to find out some enemy. Uh, the two functions are sad. Paritrana sadhunam vinasa ayacadiskita. He satisfies his fighting spirit. At the same time he protects the devotees and protects that enemy also by killing him. Because when a, when a, a demon is killed by the, by the Supreme Lord, he is at once liberated. The liberation which he had to achieve after many, many births, he at once achieves. That is the advantage. So he saves the enemy and saves the uh, devotee and stands at the same time. He satisfies his fighting desire. So God is good, so any fight that is also good. Uh, uh, it is not that. Krishna is uh, inducing, inciting Arjuna fight. Uh, there is a plan, big plan. So foolish people who criticize, oh, Krishna is inciting uh, war. We are very good men, non-violence. Uh, so this good man has no value. That fighting has much value. But there is a plan, good plan. So this is called pastime, Leela. Leela avatar. So what are the Leela avatar? Lord Chaitanya says, Leela avatar Krishna Najay Kathan. How many a number of Leela avatars are there? And nobody can count. God is unlimited. So anything manifested by Him is unlimited. That cannot be calculated by us. So there are so many lilavata. Pradhan kohiya kohi digdarasana. Some of them 
I am just mentioning. Uh, nobody can, I mean, to fully uh, calculate or understand how many lila avatars are there and where it is going and how it is going on. But it is going on. Uh, the same example, that the sun is always in the sky. Now where it is, that you have to find out. But sun is always in the sky. Similarly, the lila avatar is always there. Just like Krishna, in this planet Krishna is not present, but in some of the universe he is present. His avatar is going on. Ah, is going on. In every minute, every second, he is taking his birth and he is fighting in the Kurukshetra. Ah, that is called Nitya Lila. Eternal. His everything is eternal. He is eternal. Whatever he does, that is also eternal. And because we are conditioned, we cannot understand His eternity, His unlimitedness. Uh, but His unlimited is everything is unlimited. So Lord Chaitanya confirms that, that how many Lilavatars, incarnations are there. Uh, we, we want to everything uh, make limited because we are our li- limited sense, limited understanding, limited. Everything is limited, and God is unlimited. That we do not understand. We try to understand God with our limited means. That is our folly. Therefore we don't, don't, don't believe, or oh, oh God is doing like that, or oh God is lifting ill, or oh, how it is possible. This is story. Uh, how, why is this story? God is omnipotent and God cannot lift a hill. He is floating so many planets in the air, worthlessness, and he cannot lift a hill uh, because I don't believe that he is God. Abhajananti Mahamurha, foolish rascals, they consider me as ordinary man, not Krishna, but me. You offer your respect to me. I am God. I am competitor of Krishna. So these are foolishness. He is unlimited. He is everything. He is unlimited. Now, Lord Chaitanya mentioning some of his main features of this Lila avatar. Matsa, Kurma, Raghunath, Nishinga, Bhaman, Barahadi, Lekha Jai, Najai Gana. Some of the principles, principle avatar. They are mentioned. <coughs> Matsavata. Uh, during Vaivasyata Mano, uh, there was devastation. And in that devastation, Lord took Matsavata, incarnation of fish, and he protected the Vedas. Pralaya payad hijali dhitavanasi vedam. Vihita vahitra charitrama khedam kesavatitamina sarira jaya jagadisari. The poet Jayadev, a great devotee poet, is singing. Then in the devastation, my Lord Kesha, you have assumed the form of peace. A great Muni was sitting, he was meditating. And after taking his birth in the uh, ocean, in the sea, he brought one pot of kumandul, kumandul, that pot you have seen. Uh, he, he found a little fish there. Uh, then, then within a few seconds that fish covered all the pot. So, and the Muni thought, oh, this fish is, 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 is growing so rapidly. All right, let him have some big pot. So he gave him big, big uh, pot. Then again he became full. Then in this way he had to put it in the ocean, and he became ocean-like. Uh, then he understood that he is God. Uh, so this is Godly power. Uh, he can take the shape as the ocean is big, so he can take this. Uh, bigger than the ocean form, but he is the maker of all form. 
he has made ocean. But it is very, very difficult to understand how God becomes fish. But that does not mean that every fish is God. No. So there is matsavata, ah, pralaya paradhijali dhitavana sivedam, dhitavahitra charitram akhedam. Similarly, he took the uh, incarnation of tortoise, kurma. Uh, there was a churning of the ocean, and the churning rod must be rested on something solid. So he became the churning rod resting, and the, the hill, Mandar hill, was blessed, uh, and he was feeling some itching sensation. So it was nicely itched by churning Lord. This is his kurmavata. Then Raghunath, Raghunath, Raghunath is Ram, Lord Ram. He, he came to kill that Dasanam who had ten faces. Vitarasi dikshirani dik patikama niyam. So, in this way, there are uh, innumerable uh, incarnation of pastime. Nishinga, uh, nishinga. Tavakara kamala vare na kamadhuta singam. Dalita hiranna kasiputana bringam. Kesavadhita. Narahari Rupa Jaya Jagadisa Hari. Nishinga. Nishinga means a half lion and half man. And this shape was assumed by the Lord to kill Hiranyakashipu, the father of Brahma, a father of Prahlad. <coughs> Prahlad was a great devotee of Lord. And his only fault was that he was a great devotee. His father wanted to kill him. So it is very dangerous also to become devotee. Uh, even the father will be prepared to kill you. See? Mother will be prepared to kill you. And what to speak of others complaining, Oh, Samiji, you are disturbing our sleep. So hmm. although we have made our friendship, with Krishna, and he will always protect us. But at the same time, uh, this devotional line is uh, risky also, that we create so many enemies. Uh, there are many examples in the history of this devotional service that unnecessarily people become enemy to these innocent devotees. Uh, even an innocent boy like Prahlad Maharaj, five years old, but the devotee cannot give up his profession. He was being chastised so many times by his uh, atheistic father. But what Prahlad Maharaj was doing? Oh, because uh, he was king, he ordered the teachers oh, that this boy is coming home and uh, chanting Hare Krishna. What is this nonsense? Teachers were asked. Teacher said, my dear sir, we do not teach Hare Krishna according to your regulation. We are secular. <laughs> there is no possibility of teaching God or God's name. And this boy, I do not know where from he has got this Hare Krishna. <laughs> ah, he became very angry. Ah, where you have got your Hare Krishna? Ah. Oh, father, from where you have got your anger? I have got. <laughs> Hare Krishna. He is the supplier. He wants to be angry. He supplies anger. And I want to chant. Now he becomes more angry. So, but that boy, what was he was doing? That a teacher was forbidden, secular, and the father was enemy. And still he was taking some opportunity. As soon as the teacher is out, oh, my dear friends, come on, I shall speak to you. Hare Krishna. And he signed. So this would be all your policy. 
Whenever there is some chance, just preach this. Uh, whenever there is chance. But you should always know that you will find enemies, but you don't be afraid. Uh, go on with your own. Uh, the Prahlad Maharaj, you are such a nice devotee. And to protect him when he was just going to be killed by his father. Uh, and his father was very polit- good politician. He took a benediction from Brahma that he will not be killed by anyone. He, uh, by policy he took uh, benediction from Brahma that I shall not be killed by man. Oh, yes. I shall not be killed by demigods, that's all right. I shall not be killed by uh, any animal, that's all right. I shall not be killed in day, that's all right. He shall, I shall not be killed at night, that's all right. I shall not be killed by any weapon, that's all right. And he is all now it is finished. Everything is now secure. I cannot be killed in day, I cannot be killed at night. No man can kill him, no demigod can kill me. No animal can kill me, then what is the, where is the killing? Everything finished. But God is so uh, when a cunning that He assumes uh, neither a man nor an animal and uh, no weapons, He killed him with the nails. He never expected that I will be killed by the nails. This is the definition by negation, uh, 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 defective definition. Uh, uh, the, an argument, if you define negatively, negatively, this is not this, this is not this, this is not this, then something will come uh, that will uh, I mean, nullify all your arguments. You see. So he protected himself in all negative ways. This will not, this will not, this will not, this will not. Something came which was not in his power. So this Nishinga avatar, then Bhavana avatar, Bhavana Avatar I have already uh, mentioned that he became a dwarf, Brahmin boy, and uh, t- took all the position that uh, and Maharaj Bali, uh, this Maharaj Bali was grandson of this Maha- Maharaj Prahlad. Uh, so these are Lila Avatar, pastimes. Uh, pastimes means exchange of dealing between the devotees and the law between the living entities and the Lord, exchange. Either there are twelve kinds of human rasas, and sometimes he deals as enemy, sometimes he deals as friend, sometimes he deals as so many things, there are twelve. So we are all related with God in some human out of these twelve, either as enemy or as friend or servitor or lover, or as son or father, and as a master and servant, in so many ways we are related. And uh, when these relationships is exchanged between God and the living entity, and that is called Lila, Lila, past times. So Lila avatar. Oh, we shall explain in it. Thank you. Any question?